Hello everyone and welcome to another reaction video. I'll be reacting to the final Black Widow trailer. I really liked the first one. It got me really intrigued for the movie, so I'm just gonna dive straight in. Let's see if it tells us anything else. I tell people my sister moved out west. You're a science teacher. Your husband... Pretty much similar shots from the first trailer. You're thinking about moving, but you're gonna wait until the interest rates go down. That's not my story. <laughs> Before I was an Avenger, I made mistakes. And a lot of enemies. Is that Vibranium Shield? His call signs Taskmaster. They're manipulated, fully conscious, but no choices. I should have come back for you. How many others are there? Enough. We have to go back to where it all started. So they never do that to anyone again. We're a family. We fight with you. You won't win. I've always found it best. Not to look into the past. Okay, you got a plan or shall I just stay dug and cover? But my plan was to drive us away. Well, your plan sucks. Well, I never had a sister, but that's pretty much what my relationship with my brother is like. At some point, we all have to choose between what the world wants you to be and who you are. my choice. I'm done running. Still really loving this theme song. It's really fitting for her character. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. You're going to get a big hunch. Mm, listen to your mother. Oh my god, this... Up, up, All right, enough. All of you. I didn't say anything. That's not fair. That's pretty much what a dinner in my house is like. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like that. A couple of things I'm concerned about, but I'll get to them in a minute. First of all, we're getting Taskmaster! Yes! Now the reason I'm so excited about that is because Marvel, DC too, but Marvel has a huge catalogue of so many C and D list villains that don't have a lot to them but have the potential to be so much more if they just have someone dive into them and really add to their characters and Marvel's been doing that ever since the first Iron Man movie, taking a character that not a lot of people were interested in and building him up to be one of the most famous superheroes of all time. An even more impressive example is Guardians of the Galaxy and they were like, what did eight people read that comic? So there is a lot of potential to add to Taskmaster. Now, for those of you who don't know who he is, in my Birds of Prey video I was talking about Lady Shiva and Cassandra Cain and how their powers are basically the ability to read their opponent's body language to an almost psychic degree. So Taskmaster is basically like that. If he's in a complete straight fight with someone, he can anticipate their moves before they know what they're going to do themselves. So he can beat pretty much anyone except for Deadpool because not even Deadpool knows what Deadpool's going to do before he does it. For anyone who thinks that's potentially funny, please watch Ultimate Spider-Man. I think it's season 2, episode 15. It's called Ultimate Deadpool. It's really funny. Check it out. But one question about Taskmaster. Is he Wakandan? Because he was holding a vibranium shield, and fair enough, he could have stolen that. But he also looked like he was doing the Wakandan salute. So either he's Wakandan or he has some kind of connection to Wakanda. Some of you might think that I'm reading too much into this, but they haven't actually revealed the actor playing Taskmaster. They haven't revealed his name, they haven't revealed his face behind the mask, so there is some kind of twist surrounding this villain. And I think considering those little clues we had, it could be something surrounding Wakanda, so not, not sure how I feel about that, but 
again, like I said, Taskmaster is someone who hasn't had a whole load of focus on him as a character, so he is kind of a blank slate that creators can play with, so that could be really interesting. One thing that I am concerned about is the whole plot of this movie seems to be surrounding dismantling the Red Room. And my biggest fear is that they are going to take an incredibly complex psychological issue and boil it down to your typical superhero beat the bad guy story. Because the Red Room is basically like the Hitler youth on steroids. <laughs> it's like taking young people at their most malleable and training them up to adhere to a certain kind of belief system and a certain kind of intense patriotism. But Black Widow's sister said, They're manipulated fully conscious but no choices. And that seems to imply that they're going for more a kind of winter soldier style brainwashing. You know, obedience and a lack of willpower being achieved by scientific means rather than real life radicalization. And that is a real shame because that is such a prevalent issue. Young people are radicalized in our society every single day. So to take something that could be so current and so psychologically interesting and just boil it down to, hey, by the way, these guys have been brainwashing you, they've been lying to you the whole time, stop fighting for them, is kind of lame. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I'm going to reserve judgment. I'm going to just wait and see, wait and see what they do, because they could have something interesting about it. But I think that Instead of a movie, a TV show surrounding Black Widow and her past would have been so much better. You would have so much more time to dive into the real psychological aspects of this character. But either way, I'm still excited to see it. So my misgivings about it actually makes me want to see it more because I want to know how are they going to tackle this issue? This issue. Right, well those are my thoughts on the Black Widow trailer. What did you think? Please comment below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Please tell me if there's anything you want to see me react to and I will see you in the next video. Bye!